Okay, today we're going to talk about the distance formula. Okay, before we talk about distance formula, I have to tell you some of these things that you may already know. Like, what do we call? Oh, okay. Look, what do we call this one right here? This one on x axis. What about this? What about where the x and y axis meet? Okay, so you got the origin axis quadrant. Oh, you see how the x and y axis uh, divides the whole coordinate plane into four different sections? Quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. And a lot of you know this, if, if you ever forget which one is which, if you go from quadrant one to four, it, you know, you could write C, right? So it follows the letter C. So C for quadrant, okay? I mean, C for uh, coordinate plane, C for coordinate plane. And so you get four quadrants. So if you ever forget, you get the letter C for coordinate plane. And so uh, a lot of you should know this already. Any question? Okay. If you forgot some of these, go ahead and write it down. I'll give you time. Okay. Notice that the arrowhead on each of the axes show shows what? Positive, Positive direction. So some uh, some people think that they should put you know arrows on both sides. That's mm -hmm. not true. Okay. So. That's why these x, x axis and y axis, they have only one arrow, okay, arrow heads, okay? Because that tells you which side is positive. All right, uh, let's move on to the next part. So it says, you can easily find the distance between two points that lie on horizontal line or a vertical line. Take a look at uh, the two points over here, uh, AB. What is the distance between AB? Well, it tells you it's four, right? Why do they say it's easy to find the distance between two points that are either horizontal or uh, they lie on the horizontal or vertical lines? Michelle? Yeah, so for the horizontal line, okay, the y's are the same. That's why they're horizontal. So you look at the x-coordinates and you subtract them. Is that all? Well, you could just count, but of course, obviously, if the two points are really far away, you don't want to just count. So you want to subtract, but is that all you do? What if I do negative 1 minus 3? Do we get 4 or negative 4? You take the greater number, then you subtract? Or you take the absolute value. So when you take the absolute value, it doesn't matter which one you take. You get the right distance. Does that make sense? So to find the distance for the horizontal lines, right? Because you know the y's are same for the x's, you take the absolute value of their difference. So, so here it is. Take a look at it. When we take the absolute value of their difference, it doesn't matter which ones you do. You could do 3 minus negative 1 or negative 1 minus 3. You still get 4. Do you understand? Isn't that how you find the distance between two points that are they lie on the horizontal line or vertical lines? Yeah. What about if the two points are, are vertical lines, like this? You know that this is 3 units. Guess what we do for vertical lines? Well, you know then x is the same, right? So the, you, what do you do with the y's? You take the absolute value of the, the difference of the y. Well, absolute value of their difference in y coordinate is correct. So if you do 1 minus negative 2, what do you get? If you do 1 minus negative 2, you get 3. And of course, if you take absolute value of 3, you still get 3. What if you do it the other way? Does it matter? What's negative 2 minus 1? Then if, and you take the absolute value, you get 3. So that's why they say that uh, if you take the dis uh, distance between, if you take the um, absolute value of their difference, right, that's how you could figure out the distance for the horizontal lines, the points that are on horizontal lines or vertical lines, right? But of course, if when we ask for the distance between two points, will they be always on horizontal lines or vertical lines? No. So what are you going to do then? Well, here's an example. Okay, let me move it up. Okay, here you go. What if I have points like this, A, B. They kind of give you a hint. Guess what? If they give you two points that are not on horizontal or vertical lines, guess what you're going to do? You're going to create a? What kind of triangle? A right triangle. Right? Because once you create a right triangle, all you have to do is then find the? Yeah, use the uh, Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse here. Does that make sense? And so you can already tell what the uh, distance of A, B is. What do you think, guys? It's five. It's three, four, five triangles. Right? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. Now, do you see this point T? Yes. That point T is going to be important point to figure out. Um, I want you to understand something interesting. What is the order pair for A? Um, four, negative, four, negative, four, negative, two. 
four negative two. What is the order pair for t? What do you notice about these two points? They they have the same what? Same y coordinate. And it makes sense because they're on the same y. They're on the same horizontal line, right? What about these two points? What is the order pair for b? One, two. two. What is the order pair for t? One negative two. They both share the same what? X coordinates, don't they? Because they lie on a same vertical line. Is that right? Okay, so keep that in mind as we then, what we're going to do is we're going to try to derive then distance of, of any two points, any order two pairs. So here we go. So we're going to figure out the distance of any two points. So here, let me put a point over here. Let me call this point P, and let me call this point Q. Is that okay? And we want to find the distance between P and Q when P and Q are any order pairs, not certain particular ones. So let's call P X sub 1, Y sub 1, right? Let's call Q what? X sub 2, Y sub 2. This will represent any two points on a coordinate plane, right? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so what is then going to be important is to find this point, let's call it R, because why do you think I chose that point R? Because what kind of triangle do you get when I draw? Yeah, you get a right triangle. Does that make sense? So I want you to then think about what will the order pair for R be? If P is X sub 1, Y sub 1, Q is X sub 2, Y sub 2, what will the order pair for R going to be? Everybody go ahead and think about it as a group. I'll wait. Okay, this is the key okay, to figure this out. All right, somebody tell me, what will the x coordinate of this r, point r be? If p is x sub 1, y sub 1, q is x sub 2, y sub 2, how about, uh, okay, one person knows, two, three, four, okay, how about, out of you, okay, how about, let's see, Youngwoo, what do you think? Let me give you a hint, young one. Look at P and R. I mean, let look at Q and R. They are on that same uh, vertical line. Isn't that right? So what do you know about these two vertical? If P and Q are on the same vertical line, what do you know about both of these points? They must share the same what? Same x. So guess what the x coordinate of the R is? They both share the same x coordinate, don't they? So what will be the x coordinate for R B? What is the x coordinate of Q? Yes, three, but I'm calling I'm calling it x sub two. Uh, am I not? So guess what this will be? X sub two. Does that make sense? Okay. Do you do you understand what we're saying? Okay. What about P and R? Aren't they both on the same horizontal line? What do you know about the points that are on the same horizontal line? What's same? Y. Okay, Hannah, what do you think then the y coordinate of this r is going to be? P and r are on the same horizontal line, so they must have they must share same y coordinate. So what's the y coordinate of p? It's x sub one. I mean y sub one, right? So, so guess what r has to be. Y sub 1. Would you not agree? Okay, so this is the key to understand, to figure out the distance formula for any two points on a coordinate plane. Because once you know this, rest is really simple. Who can tell me then the distance between PR? What is the distance between PR? Absolute value of? X, X of 2 minus X of 1. X of one. What about then distance of Q, the QR? Absolute value of X. y sub 2 minus y sub. And if you want to find, let's call this distance d. If I want to find that d, all you have to do is use the Pythagorean theorem. Right? So to, find the, to use the Pythagorean theorem, what do you get? d squared is equal to what? x, minus x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared. Uh -huh. y sub 2 plus, plus y sub 2. Plus y sub 2. Yeah. Isn't this what we get? Yeah. Right? Well, this is not a distance formula because we could simplify this a little bit. Okay. By the way, I claim to you after this, I could get rid of the uh, absolute value sign. How could I, how could I get rid of the absolute value sign? Squared. 
Pretty interesting. Right. When you square a number, what do you get when you square a positive number? What do you get when you square a negative number? Positive. So that's why I could get rid of the absolute value sign. Okay? So distance formula is this, except they do one more thing. Because they don't want d squared, they just want d. Guess what we're going to do, both side by? When you square root both sides, you need to put plus or minus, right? But since we're talking about distance, do we need the negative part? So it's basically distance formula is right here. So we have just proven the distance formula is that <laughs> it's square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Does that make sense? Easy enough? Well, of course, you have two points. What are the two points that we use? x sub 1, y sub 1, and what? x sub 2, y sub 2. Yes? Easy enough? So here's our theorem. Okay, I'll give you the theorem. This is, the distance formula is this. The distance formula between two points, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2 is, as we said, d is equal to square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Okay? Go ahead and write it down. So, it turns out that this, 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 we just found distance formula, right? This distance formula gives us the equation of a circle. And you may say, how is that related? Well, if you think about it, what do you know about the distance between the center of the circle to any point of the circle? It stays the same, doesn't it? Okay. So it uses the distance formula to give you the equation. Because, by the way, how many points are there that are equidistant with this radius? That this time, I'm going to call this distance r for the radius. How many points are there? that are distance r away from the center ab. Infinitely many, right? So guess what? Instead of d, we're going to use r. And one of the point is that we're using is ab. What are the other points? We're just going to use x and y because there are infinitely many. These are the variables that we're going to use. So it turns out it's simply the equation of the circle is r is equal to square root of x minus a squared plus y minus b squared. And x and y could be, right, any point on the circle that makes it the distance equal to r. Yeah, in a minute. But turns out, this is not the form that they like to use a lot. They just like to square this both side. And so they like to use this form. Is that okay? So it's kind of like the distance formula, but they just square the both side. That's all. It's the same exact thing, right? Oh, why did I highlight the subtraction sign? You'll see why in a minute when I do an example, a really simple example. So go ahead and write this down. So this is the equation of the circle with radi with the uh, center at wh where? AB. Does that make sense? Do you see how they're related? Okay. So write it down. Let me move it up. Okay. Here we go. Okay. You see it better? This is the standard form of the square when they have it instead of the square root, but when they left it, leave it as squares, R squared. So let me ask you this. For this equation, 4 equals to x plus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared. Whoops. Okay, sorry. Square. What is the center of this circle? Okay, how many people think it's. What is the center of this circle? Give me a sec. Okay, what do you think the center of this circle is? 2, 3? Well, let me rewrite it this way. Do you see? Somebody asked, why did I highlight this? Let me rewrite it. Okay, now, do you change your mind? What is my center? <laughs> negative 2, negative 3. What is your radius? Is it 4 or is it 2? Yeah, do you see why I like to write it this way? Okay, please be careful. The center is at negative 2, negative 3, and the radius is 2. Does that make sense? Have a good day, guys. Thank you.